Yeah. <laughs> we about to go live. Stay lock and load. <laughs> Man, I can't get on my No More Dirty Radio page, but we're going to do it. We're going to have to do it live from my page tonight and just move it on over. I don't know what's going on with this doggone phone. I'm about to go off. <laughs> It's all good. Okay. What's going on, Glenda? Yeah. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. One day we're gonna really do it. One day we're gonna get you out of here. <laughs> welcome yeah, everybody to the no more, welcome to the No yeah. More Dirty Radio Show. <laughs> the number one clean and hip hop clean, radio clean, program clean, in clean, North clean. Alabama. Coming at you another Sunday at six PM. We ready. Man, I like that, bro. I don't need to say nothing. Okay, so the next <laughs> song coming up is. This dude right here, man. What's up on the ones and twos? My man. DJ Sam Smite, the inspirational DJ. <laughs> what's going on with this? Hey, man. What's good, man? How you doing, man? Everybody good? Yo, let's get this party started, man. It's just on and popping. I'm so excited. So, Yo, I'm with you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling energetic, energized, and ready to go. Yeah, man. I got my beard coming in, man. I, hey, it looks I got a good, scuff man. of roughy. It's looking good. I got a scuff of roughy. <laughs> Yo, man. Listen, hey, let's Sam, get... Yeah. Sam Smite, what, what, what do you call the grade, Sam? What do you call it, Sam? I call it the success grade. Success grade. <laughs> That's what it is. I knew it was something like that. Yo, listen, my man. We're going to give you two lapums like... <laughs> We're going to hit you up, man, with a serum. Man, that dude got a serious one. Serum for him. That dude's something crazy, man. He got a way up there. And then we're going to hit you with the bottom drop. Holmes, let us go. No more dirty. Let's go. Stay locked and low. 103.1. 92.1. You better get it right, bro. Get it right. Yep. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I don't know what was going on with our Facebook page for No More Dirty Radio Show. We're doing it live here. We'll just move it over. Hope you're loving it, listening, and listening, and like, what was it? Loving and listening and liking. Whatever. I like that. Loving, listening, and liking. Yeah. Trying something different. You just coined something, yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. Must be Jesus in my brain today. Journey. Woo! You got Sean, Sean C. Johnson on it. That's Sean. No, Dazzy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hope you are. Hey, let us know where you clock locking in from, where you're listening from. Hope you all enjoying yourself. It's no more dirty radio show, and it's my man Coach Joe. What's up, baby? Yo, what up? What up? What up? Welcome oh man, that's Sunday. Mom. Hey, what's up, mom? Mom is on. Mom, you going technology? <laughs> God bless you. Let me that's pray. Father, up. thank you for my mama. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's all right. That's it's Whitlow. I Yo, first lady Whitlow. Wouldn't none, wouldn't none of us been around if it wouldn't been for her. Yo, you right? And then, if you wouldn't here, then we wouldn't be here. So you yeah, right. you're right. Chrissy and, Long. What's, what's up? up? How you oh, doing? What's up? West Side. Woo! In the building. Glenda, what's going on? Appreciate the queen, you. The queen, the queen. What's happening? Yo, we got some everybody in the house. Hey, uh, Sam, why don't you come over here and tell them about your mixtape? Since you guys are listening, we got a little music going. Check it. Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, DJ Sam Smite, the inspirational DJ here. Check out The Good News with Mixed Feelings, Volume 3 is out. Click on, you know, our No, no More Dirty dot. Org. Org. Yep. And, you know, hit the link. You got it. Oh, don't forget, my man DJ Sam Smite. Everything's at DJ Sam Smite. At DJ Smite. Sam Smite, yes. So make sure you look, lock and load, man. Stay in load with him. Make sure you follow him. Man. Stay on lock and load. Don't go anywhere. Everywhere he go, you follow. Be like, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, Can sure. I get some music? Hit him up on the bio, the link. He'll get you straight. For sure. And he then, has a you know, straight. If you're looking for some inspirational tweets, go there. You, you know, it'll make your day. All right. Great talking to you guys. Hey, Chris, Chrissy, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Um, Ruth Whitlow. That's my oh, mom. is that your That's my mom. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> hey, Mama Whitlow, how you doing? Yeah, I feel. I feel like I want to cry now. <laughs> no, that's the Tin Man. Yeah, your boy ain't gonna let it do. Yeah, you got. You, you get. You created a incredible human being right here. Incredible. So, Did he say human? Thank you. Being incredible human being. I appreciate that. Man. Yeah. You're an incredible one, like the incredible ones. Incredible three is coming out soon, and he will be the star. I wish. <laughs> incredible. You know. Hey, bro, you need a music that? supervisor? Just oh, me. <laughs> I'm all for that. Yo, that's what's up. Hey, um, we gotta get Coach Joe, Coach Joe in here for a second, because Coach Joe's got some knowledge. And he needs to share about his weekend. What's up, bro? <laughs> you share about my weekend. Uh, How's your weekend, man? Say what's up. Uh, it's been good so far. Has it really? Mm-hmm. 
This guy right here is a teacher. Church church. Oh, you did? Yeah, oh, okay. My wife was leading on that, so I helped out a little bit in that. Well, okay. I just helped out like moving stuff around. And right, right, right. Yeah. Cleaning up. Yeah, most but it went well. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rare statement. Like, just yeah, move things that. around. I've Is been that the okay, most baby? You want to move it to the left? Okay, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, that's all I had to do, man. So. The kids had a good time. I had a good time. So that was good. Yeah, no doubt. Now, um... Now I'm chilling. Yeah, that's what's up, man. And this is a cool cat. You know, he's a teacher. So, you know, when life lessons come, get you a pen and a paper out. Yeah. Like got, this. got my life on point. I'm telling you, mine is trying to get on point thanks to this brother. Yeah. I'll be like on the... Almost slipping in. Be like, no, nah, Coach Joe gonna go in. This is Coach Joe. You got to... And I'll be like... I hear it in my spirit. Mm -hmm. My spirit, man. You're shining on. Shining on. You hear it in your shining on. Shining on. I got you. All right. Well, I'm glad I'm in your shining on. Yo, listen. Me and how you doing? Oh, what's up? What's up? Uh, Mayan, we Mayan, are... Mayan. Mayan. Yeah. Apologize. Mayan. Mayan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm the one to use to jack up people's name. <laughs> really, I'm, I just pray for me that I can just get the English that's language true. straight. Ebonics, I'm in there. Everything yeah. else, we're praying. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Mayan, so... <laughs> I'm sure. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's me on a daily basis. Yo, seriously. You, you see the names that come through my classes, so I believe it. I believe it. Hey. Hey, have you hey. seen any um, like numbers yet? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, 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 not yet. I'm waiting for that. Student. I'm sure it's coming. Parents, I'm waiting for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got Ohio numbers. Miss Lisa, we got Ohio in the building. <laughs> Lisa. Okay. Oh. How you doing, Lisa? Lisa? Oh, you? What up? Okay. <laughs> hey, okay. Oh, make, make sure y'all share. Make sure y'all share as well. Everybody who's watching, share so you can share that. Yeah, the, make the sure you share the truth you're sharing. That's mm -hmm. it, and make sure you go to our um, Twitter, Instagram, all of our social media. No more dirty radio show. Yeah. Lock and load and follow us. Um, we also have a YouTube page now, so that's pretty cool. The YouTube <laughs> oh, page nice. is going. So what'll happen is, we, once we get off the air here, uh, within the next day or two, you'll have you can go and listen to it and watch it and uh, share it there. And it's no more dirty ink. We just made it an ink kind of day, incorporated. But we got so much going on now. Radio, we got uh, TV. You can see that online. So we just put it all under no more dirty ink. All right? So that's what's up. Now, we're about to get in. We'll be right back. Hey. Tell it, tell it, tell it, man. I feel good, bro. Welcome back, No More Dirty. It's your boy, Minister Fred, and the Honorable on Ones and Twos. Yeah, this is my favorite record right now is it it is man that's a crazy joint yeah it's crazy man so i think we're gonna give him a little bit of some of that derage and then we're gonna get back because you know you that mix you got is some some serious yeah yeah I'm, I'm gonna go into that all right so here it is the derage man no more dirty you're watching and you're listening to watching by derage let's go yeah season season you, you need to go get that because i don't <laughs> i don't know what that is Yo, yeah, I don't. Hey, don't forget to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. So. Well, I like getting everything going. Hey, listen, on April the twenty eighth, that's the last Saturday night in the month of April. That's next month, last Saturday, fourth Saturday. We are doing our our our, our annual fundraise. We do one every year, mm -hmm. and it's going to be our night. Listen, it's going to be good stuff. Yep. We about to bring clean entertainment to another whole level. This is the first next level. So we got the Lord bless. We teamed up with Huntsville City Schools. Shout out to Huntsville City Schools. We will be hosting this wonderful night of laughter, worship, and urban praise at guess where? AAA, the new school, right on Sparkman, 4800 uh, Sparkman Drive. Yo, listen, if you have not been to AAA school, you might as well go to the Apollo. Just go to the Apollo or else come to AAA. And make sure you come on the last Saturday night in April. And you don't have to go as far as the Apollo. So, you know, you got Not it. quite, but we're almost there. Yeah. You can stay in the city and get that Apollo-like experience. Musai. Right. <laughs> right. Yo, so listen. We have DJ Sam Smite going to be live on the ones and twos. Mm -hmm. Yo, listen. I'm dropping my new album. Yo. Did you hear that? The These Are They Project. I didn't These even are know they. this. I kept it low, low key, but it's official. So it's exclusive right now. It's exclusive. Right, I, love it. I think I might bring a track in a couple weeks. So we're going into the mixing and master phase uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, so also, I've got my man Dino. Y'all know Dino, aka the proverb coming from New York. He's on the record. He's jumping in, gonna do some flavor. 
Uh, we got Namdi, a.k.a. my man, the Acapella. That, that dude got vocals. He's going to be in the building. Then we got um, so the jazz, gospel jazz, jazz mania dude, Jazz Anova. He's going to be in the building. So we got a nice mixture. Uh, you can dress up if you want. You want to do business casual. You want to do a little urban yeah. business. I'm an urban, I'm an urban edgy guy. So you know mine is gonna be urban, but it's gonna be classy. Right. So you can come business classy. You can come urban classy. You know, you can come as you are. If you just need come to. classy. Just come classy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and then we have my man. The, the, he got this. Is the blue eyed soul man. It's my man. Uh, Sunday Postman, coming from Connecticut. So we're going to mix acoustic with the hip-hop. Yo, son, like when I say that, it's going to be really great. It's going to be a great show. And then on top of all of that, we have been blessed to be able to bring in the clean comedian ventriloquist that you've seen on BET, Ricky Smiley Show, uh, Steve Harvey Show, uh, on TBN. We got Mr. Willie Brown. And all his homies from the Suitcase Factory. Nice. Mr. Woody. Nice. The, you know? The, the comedian. Yeah, the comedian. And yeah, the nice. Ventriloquist. Ventrilo yeah, yeah. Nice. so he's going to be live. He's going to open the whole show up. So, yeah. like, it's just, just just block off an hour and a half on Saturday night of April the 28th. Yeah. Nice. Listen, here's how this thing works. All of the proceeds you, that, we, that, you, that we raise, and it's $15 to get in, because we wanted to make sure we went upscale with it this time. Um, and what happens, all the proceeds go to help provide scholarships for our Camp Smart, and and if we have some extra, we'll we'll put that on the mentoring through martial arts. Our goal is to be able to completely sponsor 30 kids for each camp. Mm -hmm. That means 10 camps in each, 10 kids in each camp. We got three camps. We'll talk more about that. Um, you can go to nomodirty.org. You can uh, donate. You can go and get actually get a ticket or whatever the case may be. So listen, we love your support. Or you might just say, I can't make it. Just give a donation. No more dirty that way. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Even if you're watching, you better be watching. And if you are watching, we're going to tell you one thing. No more dirty. Mm -hmm. No more dirty all day, every day, er day. Exclusively clean is how we ride. Yo. Yeah. And, and, and we do that because we know who else is watching. That's right. The man upstairs, man. Yeshua the Christ. God, man. Listen. Smite, what's going on, bro? Yeah, had what's up good, with that mix, man? Had, had a good week. <laughs> I'm ready to go in with this mix. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Got, well, listen. got, got good events coming up. What, what's what's our event coming up? Listen, I don't know if y'all heard, but you probably have because it's all over social media. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we're doing a night an upscale. You know, people are asking now, hey, Minister Fred, when are we gonna do something like clean, full clean, and big time? So guess what? On Saturday night. April the 28th, that's the last Saturday night next month, yeah. we will be bringing in um, nationally known and seen on TBN, BN, BET, Ricky Smiley Show, um, you name it, all of the made. We got the clean comedian slash ventriloquist, Mr. Willie Brown. Nice, Willie Brown. And then you're going to be on the ones and twos. Thank and, you. And I'm going to get into business. You know, by the way, I'm dropping a new record. So we And all of the proceeds, mm -hmm. listen, all of the proceeds go to help provide scholarship for at-risk kids or if or just young people trying to figure out what they want to do with their life at the Camp Smart. That's it's it. only $15. Go on, go online and donate. If you can't make it, because I know life happens and you can't make it, go and donate $15. Or just donate to the cause of the Camp Smart. You know what I mean? And where can they get that at? You can go to nomoredirty.org, mm -hmm. and you can get your tickets. Uh, we hope next week to have it at Lifeway Christian Bookstore, the one here in Huntsville. Nice. You know, uh, they have always supported all of our events every time. Yeah. And then you can also go to eventbrite.com. And guess who's going to host it, man? Kenny Anderson, bro. Nice. Yo, man, my man Kenny. Salute to Kenny, man. This cat is all over the place. And, you know, he's a good dude, man. Mm -hmm. So listen. Go to nomoredirty.org and donate toward the Camp Smart or either get a ticket and show up. Bring your family. This is all clean. Yeah. You know, we always talk about we want to find a place where we can do something clean. Yeah. We ain't got to deal with vulgarity. We don't have to deal with all the craziness and under, underlining messages. Listen, a whole night of laughter, worship, and family urban fun. praise. Yep. Family friends. You can bring your whole family this. You know what I mean? Family fun. What's up, Pastor Bush? Well, let's get started, man. What's up with the mix, bro? Let's go get in. Let's get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to go in right now. You ready? I feel good. All right. What's up, man? It's, it is. Exclusive. It's coming out the box. <laughs> it's out of control. My man. DJ Sam Smite, the inspirational <laughs> DJ. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yo. 
Oh, man. What's going on, Dr. Bushner? Man, you know, you already know that's family. Let me tell y'all something. Dr. Bushner was the first youth pastor in the whole of all United States. Out of out of 41 states, I've traveled rapping, doing workshops, rocking with DJ Sam Smite, uh, you name it. Just believe all of us been around the world. My man, Dr. Rupert Bushner, was the first youth pastor to take a chance on hip hop. Wow. In the seventh day of in his church. Yo, man, love you forever. Right. Salute to you. And as a result of that, look where we are, bro. Christian hip hop is around the world globally. Mm. And even in the church. Mm. So, man, we want to give you a salute, man. It's, it's, it's what's happening, man, for real. So, you already know, man. I'll get you some flyers, get to your church. Listen, if you want flyers, you're trying to get some uh, information, go to info, I N F O, at no more di- no more dirty.org and say, hey, man, I need some brochures, I need some flyers. Can you send it to me electronically? Uh, and listen, if you are a pastor, I want you to take the time and talk to your youth leader or your music ministry leader and say, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sponsor or we're going to get about 10, 15, 20 youth to come out. Or if you're at a civic youth, you work for Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Boys and Girls Club, you sponsor some tickets for them to come. United Way. United Way, you hold the whole um, nine. Girl Scouts, Girls Inc., yep. Boys, Boys and Girls Club, exactly. Boy Scouts. You know, let, this is the time to really sow into kids' lives. They need to see what clean entertainment looks like. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, man, we are really excited. And then we want to thank you so much for making us number one. Yeah, thank you. Not number two, not number six, nine, ten, but number one. And for clean and Christian hip-hop and urban music. Oh, what's that? Huh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Woo! Yo, man, this is serious, bro. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna give y'all a minute to just bob. Yeah. Well, that's a female MC too. Oh. Is Latoria? Latoria? I honestly, I don't know because of what they the say. Argus tagging. Uh, but it, it was hot, so I just yeah, it's crazy. Just put it on. But usually, I don't like if they don't put their artist name. I don't hmm. use it. But yeah, that's hot, man. You know, it, it, it's it's hot, so I'm, I'm gonna put it out for sure. Hey, listen, if you um if you are the urban artist. Or if you do like urban contemporary, urban hip hop, Christian hip hop, clean, conscious music where you just spit and spoken word, please get in touch with us, man. Uh, go to our website and send, uh, send us your MP3. Now, it needs to be radio ready because, Sam, yeah. it ain't going in the mix if it ain't right. That's it. <laughs> the tag, so, tell, tell them tag people that yeah, they know so, that. that. Um, you, you guys could also DM me at DJ Sam Smite. You know, that's on Instagram. Send me the link to your music and I'll get it. Okay, yeah. Review it. And we'll review it and see what's up, see man. See how it is. And if it's radio ready, if it's good, we'll play it. That's what's up. And salute simple, to my man D Rock, too. Yeah, man. D Rock sent something that's pretty fire. I got to send that over to yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, he's got a nice little joint. It's yeah. called Kingdom Business. So, salute. We'll get that going in the, maybe in the next show or two. Yeah. But yeah, man. So, and, and we need more female MCs. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Just in general, in the genre, in general, hip hop genre, in general, we we need more. So, yeah. ladies, feel free to just put it out. I know this is Women's Month. What, yeah, what's it, what's it's March. It's, yeah, this is National Women's Month. National Women's. That's Month. right. You That's know, right. So, put it out. So, so yeah, do that. And we need more artists that are female anyway. Really. Right. Sure. If you do urban, you like the urban gospel, you sing, you do the, you know what I'm saying, the crossover. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Do that. It's, you know. Right. And it's, it's not only about rap. It's just. In, good music. In, in general. You know? Yeah. Just, yeah. Just send it. Like, yeah, send it to us. Said, send it to us. Good music. Because if it's hot, if, you know, and if it really has that content and, and yeah. it's, it's, it's on point, yo, sure. we're going to spend it. Sure. And what's good about our show is that we spend local, regional, and national. That's it. So we don't, we don't discriminate. 
And our, this is a platform so you can get your music out and you can share the gospel and yeah. share some it's positive good. stuff. You yeah, know what I'm saying? As the good news is in it, that's it. Good news, man. If it's good news, it's good news. It's the opposite of bad news. What's up, Stacy? What's happening? Donna, what's going on? Man, that's what's up. Hey, Yo. Stacy. Hey, yeah, so that's what's happening. So we want to make sure you just stay lock and load. Stay tuned. And be, be, do me a favor. If you have a platform, we want you to share our information. Share No More Dirty Radio Show. It's every Sunday, 6 o'clock in the evening, every Sunday. Share that with somebody. Central time. Central time. Yeah, that's right. But, but Central Standard Time. So make sure you share that information because, you know, people are looking for some good good music, man. Something to ride with it. Hey. That their whole family can listen to. Mm. Ryan, what's up? What's up, B? Want to salute to my man Judge? Oh man, on my record, I got Judge on the record, man. We got a serious song, man. It's on some get up, for real. Yeah. Hey. How's your Sunday going? Hope it's going super well. Yo, I'm gonna bring in uh, Coach Joe for a second. Coach Joe is, I need so hey, Coach come in for a second, man. He always be like, "What does this dude get ready to do?" You should know me by now. I just wake up like on twenty, not ten. I'll be trying to come down to 10 for the show. It don't work out. <laughs> so, Coach Joe, I have want to interview Coach Joe. Talk to me. Coach Joe, why do you do what you do um, on the No More Dirty Radio Show? Why life lessons, man? Tell us why. Hey, man, there's just a lot of people that I, I see in life, especially in the classroom, who are hurting unnecessarily and mm. suffering unnecessarily and going through financial strain unnecessarily. So I want to try to give... Uh, pieces and parts of wisdom that, that can help them have an easier, more productive, happier, enjoyable life. And, uh, and it usually doesn't take a whole lot, you know? Right. Um, so, that's why I do it, man. Now, now I don't know if y'all know this, but this is a great motivational speaker, so I'm going to just put him on, on blast right now. <laughs> if you're looking for someone to kind of speak to your youth group and speak to your, your, um, your organization... The man right here. He's a good dude, man, for real. You got two right here, but a lot of times I'm I'm all over the place. So I always say I always send everybody to my man Coach Joe. That's it. And if you got any questions, you can get at him online. You can go you can go to info dot info at no more dirty dot org and I'm gonna just pass the link, pass information. Because really we're about making transformation a that's reality. Right. That's right. Because if you you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. we not just spending music, we spending music. It's not about records and yeah. And all that stuff if we're not really making a significant difference. Absolutely. You know? The music is just the clickbait. That's all it is. That's mm -hmm. it. Everything else, the message, that's what we're trying to put. The intent, that's what we're trying to put out. Mm -hmm. And which Coach Joe, he's putting out that message, the intent, growth, you know? So, go get him. Are you ready to put that rap on, man? Let's go. Huh. 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 Now you going to slip out on you, though. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't, I don't want no parts of that. You know what? I don't want no parts of that right there. Oh, man. Yo, listen. How's your weekend? Let us know how your weekend is. Just plug us in and say, man, I had a great weekend. My weekend was terrible. Yeah. So we can pray for you. Yeah, or, or, or put thumbs up. Thumbs up. Put thumbs down. Yeah, do that. That's right. Word Thanks, Stacey. Thanks, Stacey. Yeah. Uh, man, we appreciate you tuning in. Please share, everybody. Share. Yeah. Number one, y'all, you all keeping this show number one. So if you believe in the, in, in the good news, keep it number one. You know what I mean? Number two and number three is all right, but it ain't number one. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Woo! <laughs> Sam, boy, that out of control. That's why I told y'all. And listen, let me just say this too. Sam Smite, DJ Sam Smite, he does the eloquent shows. Don't, he, here he doing the hip hop thing. Man, tell him about, tell him how you get out, man. Like yeah, you, you yeah, want to get you know, this guy book him? He's I, serious. I man. do private events, so you know if you, like I said, if you want to book, go to the Instagram at DJ Sam Smite. You know, click in the DM and we we'll make it happen. Yeah. You know, as as, as a DJ, you got to be diverse. Right. And, oh yeah. You know, you have your niche and everything, so it's all private events. Um. Yeah, they're they're. You know, classy events. Yeah. And um, for example, you can come check me um, March 31st. We have like the top. Was it the the venue? Uh, the top. Yeah, the top venue. Top oh, yeah. in, in in Huntsville. Um, Oakwood Alumni Weekend, March 31st. You know, come check me to to the gospel luncheon. The <laughs> soiree, go gospel soiree, luncheon. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's what gospel I'm saying. Luncheon. 
Like we get classy, get all from grimy to classy is all good news. Yeah, that's it. And that's the beautiful thing. So if you're that, talking, right. that message and intent is out uh, about good news and yeah. and you know and sharing light. That's, yeah. that's it. That's what's up. What's up, Eric Grant? What's happening, man? Good seeing you in the building, baby. Yeah, that's what I love about him because he's doing the hip hop thing, but then he turn around and do an elegant ballroom. Oh, nine. Everything. The runway. Man, I've seen him do it, man. And that's what I appreciate about um, yeah. Smite, too, is that he treats his craft as if it has nothing to do with Christianity or God. And, you know, he treats his craft as if he is trying to, like, be the best DJ in the world. That's right. Regardless. And he just happens to play clean and, and, and Christian music, but he's serious about his craft. Yeah. So I appreciate that. So he can go all the way from that. that, that Crunk rock to that soul to that yeah, that ballet ballet. <laughs> What's your name? I like tea and crumpets, up, please. <laughs> tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Yeah. What's up, man? All right, about ready, bro? Now this right here. The tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets deal. <laughs> tea and crumpets deal, baby. To, to the crump, to the cream. To the cream, baby. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Try and be calm. Try and be calm. <laughs> Get me out of here. And then that guy! I'm telling you, that guy, the dude that ain't listening, that dude, every time you see him, he on the corner like what? That sister be like, I don't need you. I get my own money. Well, get your money. How you get your money? I'm going to just say it like this. You better talk to Coach Joe. Coach Joe, put you on, baby, like one or two, like somebody would say. Say what? <laughs> what up, everybody? It's Coach Joe. It's another week. I am glad to be able to speak to you, to speak to uh, Southern Tennessee and North Alabama, everybody on the side of my voice. I am pleased to be here another week, and I'm glad to have an opportunity to hopefully give you some encouragement and some wisdom that your week can be better. This week, I want to talk to you about, often we talk about setting goals. And to be honest, I figured out a flaw in my system. Um, I set a goal, a, a long-term goal. You know, I'm, I'm able to reach my short-term goals. Uh, I... I I'll do a little. I'll do speeches here and there. I'll um, have to present at uh, conferences, and you know, if it's just one hour and I have to get it done, I can do that. Now, sometimes I procrastinate a little bit, but I get it done and, and I do it with excellence. Yeah. But when it comes to long-term goals, I was I, there was a hole in my game, and I couldn't figure out what it is. And just recently, I feel like I filled the hole. So I'm going to share that with you. I got I got to be completely transparent with you. I'm not going to come on here every week and act like everything in my life is straight. I'm only going to tell you about the things, I'm going to tell you about the things that I need to work on and the things that I've already worked on and I'm doing well. So this week is something that I'm just now getting over the hump on. I'll tell you what it is. First, when you set a goal, everybody needs to have a goal. In other words, you can, you're going to miss 100% of the things you never, set, you never take aim at. You, you, you have to take aim at something or else you're not going to hit it. So mm -hmm. first, set a goal. And I don't mean like, hey, I want to make a dollar more per hour at my job. That's not what I mean. I mean like, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want your aspirations to be? What do you want for your family? What do you want for your future? I mean a goal that may have nothing to do with your particular career at the moment, but you need to set a goal. So that's fine. I have, I have goals set. But what would happen is over time, I'd work on it for two or three days and then I would get lost in them. Wow. You know, just the, the grind of every day and a family and work and trying to do well at that job as well. And then next thing you know, three weeks will go by and I'll be like, oh, shoot, I haven't worked on so-and-so in, in two and a half weeks. So what I realized is I learned from the, from the top, yeah. several of them, Eric Thomas and Tony Robbins and all the people which you need to be listening to as well. Mm -hmm. But here's what they say. They say, after you have chosen a goal, you have to get up every single day and you have to think about your goal. And that's fine. Thinking about it is one step. That's one stage of it. But thinking about it keeps it on your mind. So as you're going through your day, you'll see other things that can be picked up and added towards your goal. So that's the first step. But you got to think about it. The second thing is you have to think about why you decided to do it. Because sometimes you get distracted and say, well, I don't even know why I'm still after this. But if you think about what is my why, like why did I decide to do this? What makes this important to me? Why do I feel like this is something worth all these hours I'm going to sacrifice? So what it is, why it is. But here is the one that really is the kicker for me that I was not doing. It is to actually think about yourself doing the thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. It is to put yourself in that moment when it is happening. You know, for me, uh, one of the things is is um, writing a book. And I've been working on um, organizing a book and trying to get, to get the chapters together. And seeing yourself having the book in your hand and sharing it with people and, and allowing the emotion of that moment when you're sharing the book with people and they're thanking you for what they learned from the book and they're showing you appreciation, you feeling that moment solidifies that goal in your heart and in your mind and it drives you to continue to pursue it. But you've got to do that every day. It's almost like 20, it's like, it's almost like a battery that only lasts 24 hours. And right. after that time period, it, it fades on you. And maybe you'll get it a day or two later, but that's it. It's gone. And so in order to maintain these long-term goals, you've got to do those things. First, you're going to have to think about what your goal is. Second, you have to remind yourself about why you decided to do it. And third, live that thing out and attach emotion to it so you can reach what your destiny has for you. Wow. You know, it's, there's, a, there's a saying that goes, a friend of mine used to say, um, back in the day, he would say, if you're not about it, you won't go for it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you're not about what it is you say you're going to do, right. you will not climb the scale and go for it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Because it's another level. It's another level than doing it, perceiving it, conceptualizing. But if you're not putting your hand to the grind, the Man. script says, if you, if you put your hand to the grind and you look back, you ain't worthy to get it done. No, you're right. You're not worthy to get it done. It's because we're busy. But you know what happens is... But we make busyness our priority. That's what I was going to say. That's the problem. That's what I was going to say. You're you busy, I mean? but you're not too busy to get home and catch up on whatever. Whatever right, show, right? right? You're right. not too busy to binge <laughs> when you get a break. Does that make sense? But it that's why you have it. to keep it on the forefront of your mind. That way you say, like, man, when I have some extra time, do I want to spend that time or do I want to waste that time? You see what right. I'm saying? But well, uh, we're so busy. Yeah. We and just... the thing about it is a lot of times we're going to go to this track is by my man Judge. Mm -hmm. But like you said, at the end of the day, if you're not actively embracing and moving in that direction mm. then you're just conceiving and perceiving Conceive, that's right that's right and to perceive does not mean it's going to get done you're right so my man like my man judge says feel me if you're not feeling us you're gonna be in some trouble no more dirty <laughs> judge. Get it? Yep. i told you Heat, heat, pun, heat, heat uh -huh. plus the series. Good, man. Yeah, man, for real. Hey, man, it, it, that was real. That's that's what I'm going through, you know? That's yeah, good, man. It's about yeah. that life, man. It's, it's crazy. You can't um, give it what you don't have. Yeah. You can't give what you're not going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I agree. And what you have. And, man, it, it, has, you know? it has completely revamped my my production. Right. My okay. production is on a much higher level. Right? It's a lot easier, too, for me to make my choices yeah. when I do have free time mm -hmm. because yeah. I have felt what it feels yeah. like to experience it and I'm like I want that I, that, I, that's what I'm going for I'm getting that you know what I'm saying so that pushes me to be like no no, no let me spend a little more time working on this that's good, so my production is going up like crazy and my goal is to sustain that you know yeah. my, I, I can always sustain it for sometimes a week yeah. you know but, but for long term goals like a yeah. You know, you got to sustain it for six months, a year, you know, and I think that was the missing piece. I think I was letting that go and and then just it would fade and then I'm, I'm ADD. So, man, you, yeah. you give me something else to do. I'm like, I'm on that. You know, I think the other thing, too, that we'll touch on when I did when we go back to the flip the script is what what we're going to go with this scripture here. Um, okay. Ephesians 4, 31 and 32. All right. Okay. But, uh. I think another thing that's important, and we'll, I want to dig into that beginning next week, and I'll just give this, put this buzz out there. We're going to talk about the power of thinking success. Oh, yeah. The that's power that, that's that whole... of thinking success. Not being successful, but thinking success. No, 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 no. I, I, I was listening to something old school, and he said, and that's what led me into this. This re reminded me of, right. of this, because I, I went to the thing for Eric Thomas one time. I went to that weekend I told right. you guys about, and he right, right. talked about that for a good 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't, yeah. really, I didn't really get it. But um, I was listening to something this week and reminded me of that. He, the guy said, what you think about, you become. Right, that's it. Well, you become your thoughts. That. Absolutely. And so he, he listed be, all Yeah, that's what he said. He said that all day. You know? So when he when he said, uh, you, you become your thoughts, and I was like, well, how often am I thinking about those things that I want to be, that I, those things that I want to achieve? And I was like, mm. And so then I went back to like, and then I thought about all the other people that I went, that I've gone to and listened to that talked about that specific moment within your day. You know, right. and I was thinking like, oh, okay, that's kind of important. But now I'm realizing that is pivotal. That is where you get uh, the drive. 
to push another day. You know, right. the drive to put off right. things that you want to do or that. Right, right. I don't it's know, about I the gr- it, it's what makes the grind worth grinding. Absolutely, absolutely. It's the power but of But we forget, success. especially when it's a yeah. grind. It's yeah. not it, fun. It, yeah, it's never. So it's, it's easy you know, to forget, you know, if you can't remember exactly what, why you were in it, exactly what you were after. And, Anyway, wait, well, that's this is how we get down. This is what we do all day, every day. When we're not together, but when we get together, God bless America. Make America great for real. I'm yeah. just saying, you're gonna make me feel you. We're gonna do it, man. We're yeah. gonna do it with this radio show. That's it, man. We're gonna make America great. And so that's sure. why we need you to go. Let's get it. Yo, I hope you feel us. Because at the end of the day, we're going to begin. Let's start the series next week, uh, Coach. Mm-hmm. We were talking about this before. The power of success. Mm-hmm. Thinking. Mm-hmm. Thinking. Mm-hmm. Success. That's right. The power of thinking. Not being successful, but the power of thinking success. Yeah. The Bible says you can only be that which you perceive and are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, become, you know, that's what it is, you know. So even if it, even if it hasn't exact, yet manifested right. itself in your life you got to think, think it right you know, you and then you can it. begin to speak those things as they are but you can't speak what you don't see and believe that's right that's you know right what I mean? absolutely I, I wholeheartedly believe that all right so let's get with this flip the script man uh give it to him ephesians 4 ephesians 4 we're going to read verses 30 31 and 32 ephesians 4 verse 31st don't drive away the holy spirit for he's the one who had who can protect you from satan until god's plan for this world has been completed Put away any bitterness, hostility, anger, gossip, rioting, and holding grudges. Instead, be kind and compassionate to one another. Considerate and forgiving, just as God in Christ has done for you. You know, I was thinking uh, earlier today, I actually woke up this morning, Holy Spirit was like, he sent me to the scripture and he said, listen, everybody want to come up, Mm -hmm. but they want to come up the wrong way, being gossipers, backbiters trying to get over on people and mm. what have you. And the reality is you can never gain good success mm. or true success right. by belittling and making failures of everyone that you're stepping on. Mm. Listen right. to me. I'm just, listen, right. listen. You're right. Everybody listen. Around the world, in the Hunts Vegas area, no more dirty. Listen, you cannot achieve success. You can't have good success, first of all, if you're stepping on people to get it. Secondly, you can't have good success if you think you can do it without God. Hey, I, I completely agree. I have found, even in, even in the business sense, I yeah. have found if you give to people, yes, you get more than you give. And yes, just sir. recently, I, 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 had a, um, I had a client I was working with, and the circumstances were that I could not charge them. And so I said, that's okay. We're going to do it anyway. And so we did it anyway. But as a result of working with that client, I ended up getting three more clients specifically from working with that one client. Wow. I would never have gotten those other clients had I not given and been, not been bitter and not say, hey, well, you can't pay me. That's your problem. You know, I, I ain't worried about you. But being able to be willing, like this talks about, not yeah. being bitter, not being That's hostile, it. you know, not holding grudges, but just being willing to give. Enabled that gave back to me. I didn't know that was going to happen. I couldn't have right. planned that, you right. know. But that was the the positive results of that. So that's what the scripture is telling us today. Let's let's, let's implement that in in all aspects of our yeah. lives, regardless of whether you get something back or not. So I'm, I I just want to kind of talk to God on our behalf and ask Him to help us not to do these things. God, we just come to you today, knowing that you are able to help us not to do negative things and be bitter and to treat people less than what you value them. So allow us to be positive, allow us to be believers, allow us to be disciple makers, even in our business, even in our principal thinking, even in the concept of treating people as we meet them and as we go. So God, do whatever you have to do to change our minds, work on our brains, work on our hearts, give us a heart of love, a heart of understanding, and then Lord, allow us to cross paths with people that will infect us with kindness so that we can be kind. And Lord, if, if we're struggling with stuff, you know, you have the power to forgive us and to change us. So in the name of Yahshua the Christ, whom we know to be Jesus Christ, we thank you for doing so. Amen. Amen. Yo, give we're going to give you some more Jesus. Like my man, uh, Jermaine Martel, if you're trying to do this while Jesus, I suggest you change your formula. No more dirty. Let's go. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Great word. That's what's up. Appreciate it, Stacy. What's up, Alfred? What's up, Elaine? What's going on, Elaine? Hope you all enjoy yourself. You listen. You are tuned in and locked in on No More Dirty Radio Show every uh, Sunday, every six Sunday p.m. Six. Central Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast, you're gonna have to double back one hour <laughs> to get <laughs> this here. Uh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you miss it, it's okay. We repost on YouTube, our YouTube page, No More Dirty Inc. Inc. You can check out all of our, our previous shows uh, beginning since the beginning of the year. It's right? not okay, but but yeah, it's not we have okay. something for you. Anyway. Go to nomoredirty.org there you and go. you can get it. You can get that serious mix by my man, DJ Sam Smite. Hey Sam, why don't you tell him again about your mix? We got something a gift for you. Every time you go to nomoredirty.org. You can get with my man. Yeah, it's The Good News with Mixed Feelings, Volume 3. Um, go get it. It'll enhance your life, enhance your morning, enhance your workout. Whatever you need it to do, it's going to do for you. It's like one of those kind of compilation mix that encompasses all that. So, Yeah, and listen, it. all you got to, when you go to the nomoredirty.org website, we have banners that are moving all the time. Just click on the banner, and it'll take you directly on, in the banner, you'll click. You can click that, get his his volume three, and you can listen. It's a really great record. Yeah. When I tell you, it's a great mixtape. Like he's getting crazy reviews, but it has good quality. It crosses all music style, genres, mediums, but the message is still good news. Yeah. And you can DM DM if you want to get at him, if you want to talk about yeah. getting him in your area, or doing some crazy stuff. Yeah, or if you just want to send some word of encouragement, you know, the DM is always there, you know. So. Fly into the DM and, and you know, show some love. That's Appreciate it. you. Uh, is that Rosie and Tanisha and Brandon? Appreciate hey, you guys. watching, yeah, share, share, yeah, share so people yeah. can um, learn more about the gospel and clean, clean Christian music and having a good time. So share. Yeah. Appreciate you stopping through. Got my yeah. son here, Jonathan, with me. Let's get yeah, it. So. Let's get it so they can see. There you go. There you go. <laughs>